May I have your Excellency's leave to commence the proceedings? May I have your Excellency's leave to read out the notification issued by the Special Secretary to the Government of India, Ministry of Law and Justice, Department of Justice, New Delhi. To be published in the Gadget of India, Part 1, Section 2, number K slash 13015 slash 01 slash 2023 U.S. Roman 2, Government of India, Ministry of Law and Justice, Department of Justice, Appointments Division, Jaisalmer House, 26 Mansing Road, New Delhi, 110011, dated 1st May 2023. 
notification. In exercise of the power conferred by Clause 1 of Article 217 of the Constitution of India, the President is pleased to appoint Sri Justice Tirulain Velli Subbya Shivanganam, Judge Calcutta High Court, to be the Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Rajendra Kashyap, Special Secretary to the Government of India. May I have your Excellency's leave to read out the warrant of appointment issued by Her Excellency, the President of India. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 1 of Article 217 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Tirunel Veli Subya Shivanganam, Judge of the Calcutta High Court, to be the Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court, with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this first day of May in the year 2023, 11th Baishakha, 1945 Saka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. May I now most humbly request Your Excellency, the Governor of West Bengal, to administer oath of office to the Mr. Justice T. S. Shivaginam as the Honorable Chief Justice of the Honorable High Court at Calcutta. I, I, Tirunelveli Subbaya Shivaginam, <laughs> having been appointed as Chief Justice of the High Court at Calcutta, do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. May I request the learned Advocate General to deliver his speech. His Excellency, the Honorable Governor, the Honorable Chief Justice,
the President and Secretary of the Bar Library Club, the President and Secretary of the Bar Association, the President and Secretary of the Incorporated Law Society, former judges of this Honorable Court and the Honorable Supreme Court of India, friends, family, and colleagues of the Honorable Chief Justice and members of the Madras Bar. It was my privilege to welcome the Honorable Chief Justice when he was sworn in as a judge of this Honorable Court on the 25th of October, 2021. At that time, I had spoken about his formidable reputation as a judge of the Honorable High Court of Madras. His coming here being a fair exchange for an erudite judge of this Honorable Court, Justice Shonji Banerjee, who was then elevated as the Chief Justice of the High Court of Madras. I spoke about the traditions and legacies of this Honorable Court and that of the Honorable High Court of Madras, both being chartered high courts. Today, once again, I have both the pleasure and privilege of felicitating Honorable Justice T.S. Shivagnanam on his elevation as the Chief Justice of the High Court at Calcutta. It is a proud moment for the bar of not only this High Court, but the Madras High Court. And I consider it as a very proud moment for this country. Since the day that Justice Shivagnanam was sworn in as a judge of this Honorable Court, Till today, that is over a period of approximately one and a half years, I have had the occasion to appear in a number of cases before him. As a judge, you, Justice Shivagnanam, have more than lived up to the reputation you acquired in your parent high court. You have endured yourself, in endeared yourself to the Calcutta Bar. As a judge, you have exhibited erudition and displayed vast knowledge of law across different fields. Your approach has always been to find a speedy and just solution to the dispute. You have always given a patient hearing to lawyers appearing before you, and according to the revenue bar, you are responsible for the huge reduction in arrears. I have also had occasion to interact with you in the administrative side. You have been responsible for the proper functioning of the State Legal Services Authority and have overseen the functioning of the District Legal Services Authorities in the state in spite of acute fund crunches. You have also been responsible for several of the e-initiatives undertaken in this High Court. Most importantly, you have put in place the Calcutta High Court app, which has been benefited lawyers immensely. You have also been responsible for ensuring that live streaming of cases take place so that we really have what I would term as transparent and open justice. This, I think, has been a significant step taken by this institution in the delivery of justice. Justice Shivagnanam, you have been fiercely proud of your parent High Court. I am of my High Court as well. You are very proud of the Madras Bar, of which you were a reputed member. You frequently refer to the High Court of Madras and its lawyers, its traditions and legacies, both during the course of hearing and outside court. You are an impeccable 
ambassador for your parent high court. I now make a simple appeal to the members of our bar. I would request the members of our bar to conduct ourselves in such fashion that the Honorable Chief Justice speaks as highly of our institution as he does of the High Court of Madras. It is my earnest request to the bar that as members of the bar, we live up to our traditions and legacies. After all, we too are a chartered high court. I can only hope and pray that soon you will be elevated as a judge of the Honorable Supreme Court. And it will not only be the Madras High Court Bar, but the bar of this High Court who will rejoice on such elevation. I wish you a very, very successful tenure as the Chief Justice of the oldest High Court of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I request the learned additional Solicitor General to deliver his speech? Your Excellency, the Honorable Governor of West Bengal, my Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, the Honorable Judges, all Honorable Judges present here, including the retired judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court, all dignitaries present, the Bar Association, respective uh, post holders, the President Secretaries, and the senior advocates and the advocates present. It is definitely a privilege for me, as has been narrated in detail by the London Advocate General, to address your Lordship and felicitate and welcome to this honorable court as the Chief Justice. On behalf of Government of India, I welcome your Chief Justice <coughs> for this Chattered High Court. Now, my lord, a question comes. We are seeing your lordship in a new attire. This particular attire, as I am told and I have read, this was introduced by the British from the church. But then it has its root it goes back to the basic civilization, where each and every ceremony was to be addressed by new attire. This dondo is not only the civil or the criminal or the constitutional is a dondo for implementation, a balance and harmony in society. Because a judge is a conscience keeper of society, and upon this conscience, the dharma dwells in, and at, as such, the judges are always addressed as dharma avatar. I want to watch your lordship's great career with great admiration, and I wish your lordship a good health. Thank you, sir. May I request the Chairman, Bar Council of West Bengal, to deliver his speech. His Excellency, the Governor of West Bengal, New Chief Justice, Calcutta High Court, and Honorable Component Judges of this High Court, Honorable Beloved Chief Minister of West Bengal, Srimoti Mamata Banerjee, she is also an advocate. Honorable Speaker, Mr. Biman Banerjee, Honorable Law Minister, Mr. Maloy Ghatok, Leader of Opposition, Subhendu Dekari, Minister Fira Dakim, Minister Chandima Bhattacharya, Line Register General, Respected Deputy Sheriff, Honorable Advocate General, Honorable Additional Solicitor General, Honorable Advocate, and all members of the legal fraternity. Learned members of the Bar Council, Obvious Bengal, President, Vice President, 
Secretary and members of the Bar Association, Bar Library Club, and Incorporated Law Society, media personnel present, officer and staff member of the High Court. <coughs> As Chairman of the Bar Council of West Bengal, have the honor and privilege to welcome you all on this August and memorial occasion. In, as a new chapter begins with renewed hopes and aspiration under the true, true word of our Honorable Chief Justice, the legal fraternity and the litigant and the common, commoner stand before his judgment seat. From this very solemn moment, before this High Court of his history, I believe in order that pending issues of the including shortage of judges and the huge backlog huge backlog <coughs> disposal of cases in the High Court and the courts of the below. The bench and bar is no hesitation, chance shall work together. Believe that any impose of the whatever nature that comes up in the course of administration of justice will be dealt with reasonable and rationality and above all the humanity. Believe the Bar Council of West Bengal, the parent body of the advocates of the state will give a greater scope to fulfill the aspiration of the lawyers. Last, last but not the least, I believe that his Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice of this High Court, will continue to carry forward the legacy uh, and the age of all glory of this esteemed institution of the days of come. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I request the President, Bar Library Club, to deliver his speech. With the leave of the Honorable Governor, I beg to address the Assembly. My Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, Honorable Judges, Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Speaker and members of the Assembly and the State Administration and my own fraternity of the Bar. On behalf, my Lord, the Chief Justice, of the members of the Bar Library Club, and I'm, on my own personal behalf, I offer to your Lordship many, many felicitations and heaps of congratulations, if I may say so, on your ascension to the high office of Chief, Minister, uh, Chief Justice of this Honorable Court. As your Lordship must be knowing fully well, already our High Court was established in the year 1863. In other terms, I may say that it was historically the first and foremost High Court in India. Thankfully, that premier position, my Lord, the Chief Justice, whether it is fortuitous or not, whether it may have been so, can never be taken from our High Court. Through the years of its history, it has borne, if I may say so, censorious glares, sometimes vulgar abuse, and even downright condemnation. But our court is still standing tall, immaculate, and majestic, as ever before. A Scottish phrase comes to mind. 
and if I may quote that, they say, it says, it runs thus, they say, what do they say? Let them say. In sometimes in polite conversation, we talk about the hierarchy of, of our courts and we have to concede that all high courts in polite conversation are to be classified as equal. But that we do in Calcutta as a matter of form and for the sake of good order. In quiet moments and in our hearts, my Lord the Chief Justice, while introspecting, we always acknowledge with a quiet and may I say so, a demure glee that our High Court is undeniably primus inter pares. And now it has come to pass, if I may say so, that by the grace of God, you are and have become the Honorable, the Chief Justice of this Honorable High Court. From the annals of our history, you will find that you have become the repository of an exalted legacy. The names of Justice Shamunath Pandit, Justice Ramesh Mittir, Justice Dwarkanath Mittir, Sir Ashtosh Mukherjee, Sir uh, uh, Dr. Gurudas Banerjee, and the first Chief Justice, uh, Justice uh, Phoni Bhushan Chakwarti, may precede you amongst the very many distinguished and noble personalities that have come to occupy this chair that you are presently holding. Your predecessors, if I may say so, were mighty lawyers and amongst the greatest of men. You have been given their mantle of responsibility. My Lord, the Chief Justice, and this perhaps is one of your life's most welcome moments. You have this incredible opportunity. Your Lordship has already set, if I may say so, most welcome and most decent work patterns. You have shown discipline in work, excellence in judicial knowledge, and in your work ethic, you clearly aspire to new and forever forensic levels. The Calcutta Bar believes that your new assignment is thoroughly well-deserved. With your dedication, With your dedication to your duties, we are sure that you will take further steps and we hope, as the Advocate General has expressed, that you are surely destined for even new achievements. My Lord, the Chief Justice, if I may say so in conclusion, I respectfully say and humbly say to you, be bold, be resilient, and above all, be impactful. Life is only for those who set standards. And the benchmark is there for you to set. Wear your robes, if I may say so, of your office with style and grace, and also with becoming humility and sincerity. With respect, on behalf of the Bar Library Club, I wish you 
very good health and well-being. And again, very many congratulations on our behalf for your new appointment. God bless you in your endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I request the President Bar Association to deliver his speech. Mr. Governor, sir, and all our judges, the first thing I say, our judges are very polite in court, very polite. And your Lordship has already established yourself as a brilliant judge, already established. On the other day, I told you that our beloved Chief Minister is here, and other opposition leaders are here. Uh, all we want, my Lord, uh, that uh, there are deficit in the number of judges. And I find that the judges leave the court after 8 o'clock, 7 or 8 o'clock. It's a very strainful job. And also, you know, on this side, my Lord, it's better to speak nonsense for some part of the day than to hear nonsense for the entire day. This is your trouble. <laughs> So you, you have already established yourself as a brilliant judge and we expect that. Thank you. Thank you. May I request the President Incorporated Law Society to deliver his speech. Your Ex Excellency, the Governor of West Bengal, <coughs> the Honorable Chief Justice and the Honorable Judges of this court, Honorable Chief Minister and members of the Ministry present, present here, Speaker of the West Bengal Assembly, retired judges of the Supreme Court and uh, High Courts, learned Advocate General, learned Additional and, Dep and Deputy Solicitor General, President and Secretary of the Bar Levy Club and Bar Association, members of the profession or at present in court or on virtual mode, members of the registry. On behalf of Incorporated Law Society and its members, I heartily welcome you, my Lord, as our Chief Justice. You have been associated with us since 25th October 2021. And before your elevation as the Chief Justice of this Honorable Court, you were serving as the Acting Chief Justice of this Honorable Court. You had a bright academic career before you enrolled as an advocate of the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu on 10th September 1986. Before coming to our court on transfer, you were a judge of the Honorable High Court at Madras since 31st March 2009. During your, your stint in our court since 25th October 2021, we have always found you to be a very compassionate and considerate judge who can come to the issue involved in the litigation very quickly and could take your decision also very quickly. Your court has always been a very fast moving court and there is hardly any chance of being dissatisfied with the orders passed by you. Our society has always behaved in a responsible manner, would continue to do so. Our society would continue to give our fullest support in all administrative matters where our support would be necessary or maybe asked for. At the same time, our society from time to time have pointed out certain issues which we would like to have an early solution. Your Lordship is well aware that the litigants of the state expect much, uh, expect much more from the judiciary. And we are sure that under your leadership and guidance, this honorable court would be able to fulfill the aspiration of the people of the West Bengal to the extent possible. I remain my Lord. Thank you, sir. May I now most humbly request the Honorable the Chief Justice of High Court at Calcutta to address the gathering. His Excellency, the Governor of the State of West Bengal, the Honorable Chief Minister of the State of West Bengal, my esteemed colleagues on the dais, former judges of the Honorable Supreme Court, both of whom are my Chief Justices, former Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir,
Commissioner, President and Secretary of the Bar Association, President and Secretary of the Incorporated Law Society, Secretaries, the Chief Secretary and Secretaries of the Departments of the State of West Bengal, respected senior advocates of the three wings of the bar, my beloved brothers and sisters of the profession, members of the bar from the High Court at Madras, my family members who are present here and who have joined this program on the virtual platform, the Registrar General and the members of the registry and the staff of this court, members of the Law Clerks Association, other distinguished guests, special invitees, friends present here. At the outset, I express my sincere thanks to His Excellency, the Governor of West Bengal, for having administered oath of office to me as the Chief Justice of the oldest and prestigious Chartered High Court at Calcutta. I am extremely grateful to you all for extending warm felicitations and welcome. The Learned Advocate General, the Learned Additional Solicitor General, the Chairman of the Bar Council of India, the Honorable President of the Three Wings of the Bar, the good, kind, and praiseworthy words spoken today have really touched the core of my heart. I feel proud of having been sworn in as the Chief Justice of the High Court at Calcutta, as it is the most prestigious chartered high courts in India. It will be a great pleasure for me to be in the city of joy, which has a 330-year history. It is artistic and cultural hub of India. It is the land of Rabindranath Tagore, it is the land of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, who de devoted his life for the Indian independence movement. West Bengal has produced several legends who are the source of inspiration for all of us. It will be appropriate on this occasion to recall the names of illustrious judges who adorned the portals of this chartered high court. The first Chief Justice, who had, been, who had also been the Chief Justice of Supreme Court, was Sri Baines Peacock. The first permanent Indian Chief Justice was Chief Justice Pani Bhushan Chakravarti, who held this glorious office from 1952 to 58. He was followed by Justice uh, Charandas Gupta, Justice Lahiri, Justice Himanshu Kumar Bose, Justice Deep Narayan Sinha, Justice Prashanta <coughs> Bihari Mukherjee, Justice Sankar Prasad Mitro, and Justice Amirendra Nath Sen and others. The High Court with its glorious tradition and heritage occupies a prominent place in the judicial administration of our country. The Premier High Court has rich judicial history known for delivering quick and landmark decisions. The judges and the bar have built up great traditions. The High Court had distinction of providing a large number of distinguished legal luminaries who have rendered meritorious service for cause of justice and development of rule of law and adorned the Apex Court. I took oath as an additional judge of the Madras High Court on 31st of March 2009 and became a permanent judge on 29th of March 2011. On 25th of October 2021, I was transferred, as, uh, transferred to this Chartered High Court and on 31-3-2023, I became acting Chief Justice of this court. From the date of my joining, I have, be, I have seen that my esteemed colleagues, members of the registry and the staff of this court, extended full support to me and their relentless support encouraged me to discharge my duties to the best of my ability. Administering justice is a pious work and being part of a judicial system, I assure that I will leave no stone under and enshrined under the Constitution of India. For discharging the function smoothly and in a healthy atmosphere, I request the fullest cooperation of the bar. I am doubly sure that the Calcutta Bar will extend full cooperation to better enable me to discharge my duties as the Chief Justice of this court. I always welcome suggestions with an open mind and positive solutions to all problems, whether of the bar or that of the judiciary, as for successfully resolving issues, deliberations are necessary. There is no issue which cannot be sorted out. My doors shall always be open for such attempt. In conclusion, I also request the fullest cooperation of all the officers and staff of this court 
for effective discharge of my duties for strengthening the justice delivery system. I thank my family for standing beside me in all my endeavors. I also thank all who are present today. Several of them have traveled long distances to be part of this program. I thank the Honorable Chief Minister for being present here, the Honorable Ministers of the uh, State of West Bengal, the uh, Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Leader of Opposition, Honorable Judges from the other states, and uh, all of you for at having attended this program. And I also thank all of the, my kith and kin and everybody who has, and my couple of judges of my parent high court who have joined this program on the virtual mode. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Lordship. May I have the leave of Your Excellency now to declare the proceedings as concluded. The proceedings are hereby declared to be concluded.